kids who have uh, physical disabilities and some with mental disabilities. Amputees, there's lots of people who are in wheelchairs. They come to Camp Lockridge and just experience summer camp. They do all these different activities and they interact with um, their peers and it's, it's a good time. Because what God has done Well he sent his son Seeing um, all, the, all the kids get out of the zipline is pretty cool. All the big smiles on their faces is awesome. We did wheelchair basketball. Canoeing. Hang out. Archery. And the lunch is my favorite. We've gone swimming a lot, which is really cool because if you're in a wheelchair, you can sort of walk in the pool because the buoyancy and stuff. In 2008, when I was about to turn nine, I was diagnosed with juvenile dermatomyositis. It's a two in a million, very rare autoimmune disorder. At uh, age eight and a half, I was diagnosed with brain cancer, hematoblastoma, and I went to St. Jude for nine months. I had chemo and radiation. I stayed in the hospital for four months. I had a collapsed lung, I had a blood transfusion. I really wasn't conscious much, actually and um, I had to be fed through a tube, but I kept throwing it up, so they had to put one into my intestine. Now I have a port, so I can get infusions of um, intravenous immunoglobulin every month, and it's one of the only things that's been proven to help people with JDM. I've been doing a lot better. I've had like my disease for about five years, and I went from having no muscle at all, because um, your body attacks itself. Now I can walk with crutches, sort of. And I've been able to take a few steps without any assistance. Now I'm three years out, actually I think maybe four, and I'm cancer free. Let our lives let it light the world.